What's up guys, welcome to another edition of The Idea Log. Today's idea I have for you is one component of forgiveness that no one ever seems to talk about. So we all know what forgiveness is, we all know the power of forgiveness, we all know that we should forgive. However, the one piece that no one ever seems to mention or teach is that forgiveness is like playing an instrument. If you don't practice it all the time, you will lose how to play, you will lose how to forgive, you will lose that feeling of forgiveness. So if you make the intellectual decision today, I'm going to forgive this person, what no one seems to ever tell you is that in two days time, you're going to have to recommit to that decision. And in three days time, you're gonna to have to recommit to that decision. And then in five days time, you're gonna to have to recommit to that decision. Forgiveness is something that you almost have to practice every single day. You have to practice it every single time those feelings come up until you've, uh, until you've dealt with all of them. So around three years ago, I did this leadership camp that was a um, uh, hundred days long. And um, one of the things that really got me to understand was the power of forgiveness and the power of letting things go. Uh, whenever someone wronged me in the past, I held on to it, I never forgot about it, and I burned that person, so to speak. I mean, I burned the bridge. Um, I didn't talk to them anymore. You know, that was pretty much the way I handled things. That was my MO. And what happened was, by the time I was 27, I was very distrustful of humanity. Um, I had no faith in people. Um, I didn't trust hardly anyone at all. And if you can imagine how cold and dark that was, it, it fed into my depression. It fed into um, some addictions that I had. And, uh, and so what they really got me to understand was, listen, Jay, you know, you've been on the same path for 27 years straight. You've been cutting people off if they ever wronged you. You've not been choosing forgiveness. You've been not choosing love. You've been choosing to just close yourself off. And uh, this is how many friends you have. This is, this is your life as it is right now. If you want something different, you're going to have to change your tactics. And so their offer was, I mean, you can choose forgiveness, you can choose love, you can choose to let this past go, let your story go, and that choice happens right now. What do you want to choose? And so there was a day in which I, I, I wrote out every single thing that I was mad about, everything that, I, that every horrible thing that had ever happened to me, I wrote it out, and, uh, and then I was, I was given the choice, okay, this is your past. This is who you are. This is your story. You can hold on to this and cling to it and, and, and clutch it and stay in the shade or there's a light over here. There is, uh, there is everything you want on the other side of this line you've drawn in the sand and if you stay in the past, that's where you're gonna stay. But if you wanna move forward, if you wanna choose love, you wanna have love in your life, you can forgive, let go of all this stuff, breathe in, that you've just let go of all this emotional baggage and then move forward, look forward. I made that choice and it was the best choice I ever made was to choose love. And then a few weeks later, the, the choice came back up. All right, uh, you said you were gonna choose love and now, you're, now here you are, so are you doing it or not? And so I was like, okay, no, I'm choosing forgiveness. And then again, another day came by and I had to choose forgiveness again. It is something you're going to have to do a lot. You have to do this consistently. You have to practice forgiveness. So that's today's idea we're sharing. If you guys are going to forgive someone, forgive them the entire way. Go the entire length. Forgive them. Forgive yourself. Commit to that decision. Write it down. Journal about it. Video log about it. Whatever you have to do. Make that firm decision. I'm going to forgive this person and I'm going to move forward and I'm going to look forward. I'm not going to be looking back in the past at all these horrible events that happened to me. They were just events, they happened, we're done with it, I'm looking forward. You make that choice, make that decision, and then keep looking that way. So anyway, that's what I wanted to say today. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing and liking, and I will see you guys tomorrow.